Here we are with drawing number two. And let's see how these will fit together. I'm going to crop these first. I can see that going from the bottom upwards. I'm going to increase the size there. Right click, crop. And I'm keeping in control and I'm rolling my mouse wheel and that's what I'm having there. Okay, all, I'm not worried about that dimension. All I'm looking for is the holes in the shaft. I'm having the first bracket, that's the, that's the base. One is required. And we know that something needs to fit into this base. We've got a hole there and there's two of them. And we need a shaft that needs to go through them. That's, that's 16. Let's go to the next one. We've got an M60 nut by 2 millimeter thread. We've got an M16 bolt by 2 millimeter thread. It's obviously the nut will fit onto there. And then the bolt is 48 millimeters in length. Now, this bolt, the diameter of this bolt, I can't see the diameter here. There's one required and one required there. The only thing I know is that uh, this diameter, it's not given. It should be 20 millimeters because this bolt needs to go through there. Okay. Okay. We already know that the nut will be on top of the bolt. So uh, we've got 20 millimeters and 48. So that's 68. If the face of the nut sits against there, we'll be having a certain amount sticking out on the other side. The width here is 34 plus 10 plus 10. 34 plus 10 plus 10, that gives us 54. And this is what we have 68. 68 minus 54 will give us 14. So we will have this face of the bolt sitting against there. 14 millimeters of this thread will stick out on the other side. On the other side, while a little bit will, will sit inside that hole there. The height of the nut is 0 0.8 times 16 millimeters, which means it's 80%. So basically, more or less, uh, it's about uh, 13 millimeters, 13.5 or something. Okay. So uh, you'll just have a little bit of the bolt sticking out on that side. So that will fit on there, through there, and that nut will fit on there. But the solid shaft, the bolt, that, that I'll put in last because it's very important that you see uh, this part properly. Okay, next thing. We already know that all these has become one part. And then we're going to look at this. We now can see that this is 34. And we're having a hole there of 16 millimeters in diameter. And it matches up with that hole. But holes don't fit into one another. The only shaft uh, diameter that fits in there is the 16. Oh, it says here M16. Sorry, guys. It's an M16. The diameter is 16 of this bolt. So I can obviously see that if this is 16 going right through there, that hole, then this must move right in the center there so that that 16 and that 16 can be aligned and that bolt will go through the center. Okay. Let's do this. Right. So, uh, I will take this bolt. I'm going to highlight it quickly. And I'm going to rotate it. Rotate 90 degrees. Oops. We're going to have to do a 180 now. And this will go right through the, through the center. Right. Okay, then the nut, remember this is not according to scale, the nut will fit through on the other side, sitting somewhere there, and then we will be having this part, sitting right there in the center where the nut goes through, you can see the dotted line is aligning there. Remember, it's not according to scale. That If this is 34 and that is 34, it will fit snugly into one another. Then we have a hole left here. This hole is an M20 by 1.5. So 
So we have an M20 hole left there. So we'll be finding an M20 screw that needs to go in there because there's a thread. Okay, we're having our washer as an M20. So we've got another hole. And we've got another hole there, which is M20. So these two will have to be aligned to be able to fit with a screw. So this thread is an M20 by 1.5. That's an M20 by 1.5. So this will fit in there straight away. But look at it, this from the top. This whole part here will just look like a round piece of object. Okay, you'll see the washer as well there is a round piece of object. Sitting on top there. And then you won't be able to see this. It will just be in the round. So that is assembly is more or less complete. But look at it from the side. Okay, that's a different thing. So uh, there we have the front. We know that this part will fit right there in the center, right through the center. Actually, it will sit behind. So what I'm going to do here is drag this over. More or less. And remember, these lines there will still go down. We just get a little bit of thickness there. We'll still go down till there. And that will go down till there. So that the hole can go through there. And we will have our nut fitting through this hole. Let me just remove the hole because we won't see the nut properly. And uh, that's what we have. The nut will sit right there. And then we will have this part. I'm rotating it at 90 degrees. Well, let's go for a 180. And it will sit in there, somewhere there, with our washer sitting right there in the center uh, on top there. And then there will go a pin through here, but the pin is not given. So that basically is the assembly for this drawing. I've shown you based on diameters how these things fit together. So you look at the hole and then you look at the shaft. A hole and then a shaft. And sometimes holes align with one another to be able to have the same shaft coming through it. Thank you very much.